Here's our welcome gate to the archaeological site Sarazm. 5,500 years old, first settled before the pyramids. On the gate, you'll see reproductions of some of the fresco drawings that were found during the excavations. That marigold field, I, I took a shot of that because it appears in the symbol at the gate. This is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The, one of the earliest, if not the earliest, uh, urban settlement in Central Asia. If you're a museum geek like me, you like to read all the signs. Uh, for you, I've reproduced the entire text of that sign. There are th several excavations that are covered for their protection. I especially like the oven that uh, resembles ovens still used in New Mexico. a small museum with artifacts. This is the bronze axe that was discovered in 1976 that started it all. It was found by a neighboring villager who turned it over to an archaeologist working on the nearby ancient Panjakant excavations. That was followed by a number of excavations and all kinds of artifacts were found. Most of the most impressive artifacts went to the museums in Dushanbe. Here was, here was a rock that I recognized. This was a stone weight. Oh, there's a stone for grinding grain. Pottery, which was a both a trade good showing the trade in the area and pottery indicating the beginning of ceramic work, pottery work in Central Asia. And weaving, textiles, but what was most exciting was seeing what some of those rocks were actually used for to weight down the weaving. And interestingly enough, we saw the same use of rocks uh, a couple of weeks later uh, when we reached Kyrgyzstan. The most uh, impressive relic in the museum is what is called the Princess of Sarazm. She went to Dushanbe for a number of years, but you can see she had she had jewelry and all those little dots, those are actually beads carved from shell and precious and semi-precious stones. Uh, she just recently came back to the museum. I love the statement in the sign that said, it is likely that a woman's appearance was an important factor in Sarazm society. Which brings us to the last image in this little video. This was a young newlywed couple that was having a wedding video shot at Sarazm dressed in native dress, which I thought was a wonderful ending to this uh, exploration of history and its continuing importance to individual people and to humanity as a whole.